I'm taking this opportunity to send a message to Sharon Burke and the Not So Solid Agency. Um, I know exactly what you do the other night at the stadium when you try to sabotage my performance because of personal feelings. And we all know so on the eight one you can control, you know. Wagwan my viewers and subscribers, welcome back to Nats at Topics. You don't know what they have to talk about the things them we are going in and around dance hall, right? Who remember the other night the grand concert that kept at National Stadium with a big bad burner boy popcorn Leela icon. We know it was a success, however, there were challenges with the mic when it came on to especially popcorn's performance. We remember um at one point he got upset and left the stage and at one point I think even the venue he left as a result of he was disgruntled because of the the, the problems that the mic were given or the mic did I give, right? Anyway Popcorn took to his Instagram story a short while ago and spoke on the issue Animal this up Shaggy the man says Shaggy is a bitch. I don't know why he would have called Shaggy a bitch though. I don't know what Shaggy doing, but he must know because he did not elaborate in the video to state exactly what took place with him and Shaggy, why he would have reached that conclusion. He also say Sharon Burke try sabotaging thing and him know say it's a personal vendetta she have against him. As me say, me don't know the backstory, me don't know where um Popcorn and Sharon have if they had something in the past leading to this or what. But him, as me say, Muda chat a bag of things. And me go make me go play the video now for no and make you hear exactly what Popcorn said on his story. Yes. Good morning to everybody. I'm in your man Jay Sadalan as you know. And I'm taking this opportunity to send a message to Sharon Burke and the Not So Solid Agency. Um, I know exactly what you do the other night at the stadium when you try to sabotage my performance because of personal feelings. And we all know so on the eight one you can control, you know. And one and a half shares and percentage, you know, you see me? Yeah, you feel like you can control the industry and put one one, put a number one and put one one, put international. But annually boss break then spell a long time. And show me say I don't need enough to do shit. And the fact still remains late phone you can't stop and roll it again, you know, is it? Mm-hmm. And um I know when you roll you want be industry gatekeeper and them shit there. One control who go international and who stay. I don't know if you can control me already. Yeah, and Shaggy is a bitch. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Me say that Shaggy is a little bitch. Yeah, people, so you know, me want to know do phone or duty. Me want to know tell me in the comment section. What do you think about what Popcorn have to say about the whole issue the other night? And if you don't think say, um, it was deliberately done or, you know, are just mere problems they have with technical difficulties they have along the way um, within the show. Um, well, Popcorn no seem to no seem to be so happy about it. He must say, yo, him know say Sharon have something for do with it. And I don't know what Shaggy do him. But left on the thoughts down below in the comment section and make me know what to think. Right now, me go also talk about Miss Kitty. Yeah, people. So everybody know the famous Miss Kitty from, you know, nationwide news. And she has been there from 2013. Now, a press release was um issued 
and it is stating that Kadeen Hilton, attorney at law and media personality, more popularly known as Miss Kitty, will leave the airwaves of Nationwide 90 FM on December 30, 31st. And then say our last show will be on Friday. You know, our last show will be on Friday. Um, that's That will be our last show for nationwide so you know when i saw the news me i said all right me you know maybe she a pursue other um other areas in her life maybe this junction has come to a close and she decides to hear what she has to facilitate new things for her to continue to grow maybe within the industry or even otherwise because remember she's also a lawyer by profession right so but did they, and one mind say, go in at the comment section, go hear what the people them office say. And I realize that they are mixed reaction as it relate, like something would have happened on the radio station, like the message she violate some community, like the message she violate the dis disability um, community or disabled community, <laughs> or something to that effect, and why she never just apologized. So what I am going to do, because I am not really abreast of the story to to its totality, me go read some of the comment section, some of the comments that were made under the article. So one fan that goes by the name Kanil Cole say we saw this coming a mile out. Romario Smith said no integrity. She rather quit the job before she apologized to the people that she offended. She always had a big ego and is very disrespectful, degrading to a lot of people that are slow to figure out the words that she utter at times. One person responded and to Kanil Cole and said, um, she should just apologize, although I don't think she was talking the disabled community. Her words was about L.A. Very disgusting man. Horius Duncan said, in spite of knowing that this day would come, it's gonna be a long haul to get used to not hearing her on Nationwide 90 FM at 3 o'clock. Wow. Good luck, Miss Kitty. One love every time. Phyllis Sutherland say, the Emmy Award winning journalist, Cliff Hughes, always do an excellent job in identifying and developing media related talent. There are so many in media now who benefits from his mentorship. All the best on your journey, Miss Hilton. Angela da Costa say, Miss Kitty, I will miss you those extravagant words and you always break it down so that the little man in the street can understand wish you all the best in your endeavors you pursuit of excellence at all times you are clear precise and jovial Janet Constantine say move on yes you owe them long enough and they didn't appreciate you then Miss Kitty darling there's bigger and better things out there for you be nice sharing your moments so as we said people persons have re mixed reaction but based on some of the comments you realize that something happened behind the scene if you all know what that is you can always leave it down below in the comment section and let me know who on the thought on the thought process is big up to everybody for the continuous support you don't know the thing go as it relates to miss kitty you know she's an excellent person when it comes on to um radio personality and all of that and wish her all the best in our endeavors do remember to like and share this video and also subscribe to the channel if you're new click the notification bell that whenever me drop anything you'd be the first to be notified so until next time my people big up on yourself